This is pretty typical job site. You got Marshall working, you got Aaron on the phone, and I've got a camera. <laughs> Sounds right. So uh, Marshall's got the corners in. He put some uh, extra stuff in to help straighten the wall on this side. And Aaron's working kind of on the steps. So I'm going to get in here and see what they need. So what's happening here is Aaron marks out where he wants the steps. And after the form's already set, he cut out where the steps are going. And then he's going to take two by tens and block it. And then as the pours in the wall, it creates solid steps. Right? That's correct. Now, for the bottom like angle, so what do we put here? Do we underneath that area? Like where you're standing now, what will that be when it's all said and done? It's probably going to be all concrete. Okay. You would, I mean, if it depend, you can use uh, like the big foam blocks if you had them, the geotechnical foam. Right. I mean, it's it's it looks like a lot of concrete, but you're talking about maybe three extra yards of concrete. So right. Five hundred bucks, you're going to have that in the geotech foam. Right. You're going to have that in. Trying to put gravel in here is going to push on the wall. Right. And it's just it's a very robust set of stairs, but it actually ends up penciling out to be as cheap as anything. Okay. So, yeah, if they did gunite, they'd put a bunch of sandbags and everything else right. in here to try to limit the material, but then that's all labor. So, when you start penciling it, it's going to go one way. You, you got to pick your battles exactly. of what makes sense. And right. I mean, why not have more structure and less labor? Agreed. So. Okay. That's why I thought. Just want to clarify. Yep. So, these are those corners I showed you early. Downside is you have to drill them. Be nice if they came with holes already in them, wouldn't it? Yeah. Then they'd probably hit right in the seam. Yeah, it'd be where you don't need them. So, <laughs> and drill those. And see, do your cut. They slide down in, and then we'll spray release agent on everything. And then uh, when we pour, that'll have a nice curve to it. So I'm over here, and I'm going to cut for my returns. There's two returns in this wall. There's four lights in that wall, four light, two lights in that wall, two lights in that wall, and two lights, one, two lights where the steps are. And then we got two skimmers down here, got a lot going on down here, and three main drains. One's for the filter system, and the other two are for the, for the uh, waterfall or the negative edge feature. New zombie apocalypse weapon. <laughs> this is so uh drill my hole for the pipe then then put this through level and turn it and make the hole in the foam so there you go and aaron's over here getting the uh steps ready he's got the sides cut and then he'll place those in there and then uh do it right Absolutely. So. Six more after this one. Oh, that's it? Yeah. It also helps uh, straighten our wall out. Yes, it does. So. Well, cool. Well, I'm going to leave him to that, and I am going to jump up here on the ladder and show you all this. Ta-da. There you go, huh? Look at that. One down. Fifteen to go in the lower pool. And you see, uh, there's our butterfly. So Marshall's got that when he's tightening up. He's done with this one. You only got one more to do, isn't it? Look at me taking it easy on you. We pour in 24 hours. How do you feel about it? Aaron said if I stopped filming, we could pour. 
Huh? Better than 16 hours. Well, we are supposed to sleep at some point. Oh. True that. That's kind of overrated anyway. You can do that one after it's poured. <laughs> hey, I got lights. But if we need them, it's going to raise the pucker factor. I'm assuming we won't need them. I think we're in good shape. Well, the holes are towards the top of the pool too, so if I gotta be cutting holes while we're pouring concrete, you know. We, we've done it, but. We're good. All right, check it out. Got steps, well, have step forms. We got the uh, holes drilled for the returns. There's a little bit of action, a little bit of that that has to happen over in the step area, but I'll get to that. So now on this back wall, there's going to be four lights, two, and then two below it. And then there's no lights in this wall because you don't want them shining back at the house when you're coming up to the pool blind you. So we got four, and then there'll be two, one over top of each other there and behind me and that's it so we're gonna get that I'm getting that done today clean up down here we got more help coming tomorrow so we'll clean up we'll put foam down here we'll do all the flat work which is uh, number four rebar then we got some rebar goes up in there concretes at one put these main drains in run we'll just you know we put them where they need to go we'll run three three inch pipes away from those and put 90s on them and kick them up and uh, that's it and that's all you really have to do with them for now so not a ton of work with that and do, do, do. see those corners they turned out nice this is something that Aaron has a metal corner that comes down in the bottom you can get He's working on uh, working with the distributor, come up with a better price for those. So I didn't get them in time, which is fine. I mean, this one's so deep, might have them in time for the upper pool, but uh, so that you get this smooth corner here, we'll just have to sculpt that a little bit ourselves. But you see that in there. So those are in the three corners. That turned out nice. below the level of the lake <laughs> oh, genius okay yep let's uh finish this up and see you in a little bit
been a long day. Well, probably from your point of view, you, you watched over about three days of work, but uh, me for two of it. Here, you put this up. Me for a couple days, kind of knocking some things out, and then of course, Marshall and Aaron getting here and wrapping everything up. What you got? Alright, so I'm going to ride back here. And I just came up to grab the drone. I've been in the back, so I did not slack. And uh, we're going to check on the fence progress. And then I'm going to um, fly the drone. And then next video will be how the concrete pour went. So we'll see. Do, do, do. Look at that, huh? My neighbor doesn't like to be on camera, but there he is, see? <laughs> Man, they did a great job. Look at that. Look how great that looks. So we got a few places. We got to get a few, little, just a little bit longer boards and finish going down the hill. And uh, see, they're wrapping up. Looks great. Good. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do a quick uh, run around with where we ended up and then like I said then I'll fly the drone and then we going inside to eat because Mrs. Beely Good made some Easter ham and mashed potatoes and some other stuff so oh they might have gave up because they didn't see me down here they might have already fled so I don't hear nothing all right so the gates corners those are on on the outside We've got steps. So we'll clean all that crap up in the morning, obviously. A lot of people asked about the drains, the floor drains, and there they still sit. So they're going in. Last thing, we're popping those in. Foam. I think I already talked about some of this. So, yeah, so got all the holes drilled for lights and for returns. We've got to. Uh, Put those in tomorrow, right? You think I disappeared on me? No. Huh. Went to get the drone because I want to fly it. Just make sure you get me covered in sawdust. My Amish don't believe Look it. at that. Right. Well, see, but your Amish are never going to see it. Yeah, they will. Like, they'll watch my videos. They just don't want to be in my video. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Nah, let me tell you. Aaron's been putting in the work. Marshall's been putting in the work. I even got a little dirty today. A little dirty. So. Stairs look good. It's ready. Yeah, I think they look, I mean, I think it all looks great. Started too fast, now you can't slow down. The runaway girl in a hurricane town. Singing a song that you never really knew, and I need you to come back home.
Tennessee sky. You know, no matter how far you fly, I'm gonna keep holding out for you. Southern girl with a fearless heart, running out of reasons on the boulevard. You want a man who loves who you are, with a man knocking on your door. Oh, you had Oh, looky there. Yeah. All right, so Chris is gonna scoop up some gravel or number 57 clean rock and put it down behind the steps over here. And I am going to grab some number four bar and bring it down here because we've got to put that in the bottom well, after today we will have a pile of concrete hopefully inside the forms hopefully shaped like a pool yes pool. quincy's come out to uh help out <coughs> Woo. what did i do with the whole saw oh You should probably, yeah. Should. That way it doesn't look like I'm just pouring gravel in the hole there. See, he's got to be precise. Precise. And, you know, still leave enough room for whatever the else concrete, underneath. Yeah. yeah. So that's the big void that's got to be filled in. I mean, we could, could fill it with concrete. Yeah, good. I mean, you can do whatever you want to. It's your money. But I would say. Is it my money? It is. It's your money. It's the bank's money. It is. Until, uh, <laughs> until, <laughs> until, until you hit withdraw. Exactly. <laughs>
Almost got it. You almost got it. I've already decided that when the pool's full of water, when we do what? When the pool's full, we're gonna hang the bucket over, and that'll be our hot dive. Okay, so I gotta bring the machine just back for that. Yeah, sounds good. You'll make a good video. You'll probably be here anyway. Probably. All right, so what are we doing? We're putting water stops on all of your penetrations, your lights, and your returns are all two-inch pipes that get an insider fitting after eco right before you fill up water but we always make an assumption with a non-liner or rental lit pool anything that's getting plaster or eco finish that water is going to try to seep through every single penetration if you assume that it's better to try water will always take the path of least resistance it'll just seep straight along a pipe this little pvc ring right here makes it change directions 12 times in an inch it's up down up down over you know 12 times so little cheap insurance and you're supposed to be able to dry slide them over the pipe. I find that it's uh, annoying. So I kind of lube it up with some glue and put it on here. Oh. Just bought, I always put it on a jig like this so they're all the same distance. We'll put this in from the inside or outside, get it coming through about there so it's just kind of centered in the wall. Make sure we vibrate the concrete really good around this so it just creams up and sticks. Just a. Uh, Making the making the path of least resistance harder. Oh, like that. That's usually my job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's how it's gonna go. If this thing is perfect and right, I did it. And if it's all and if it's all halfway and wonky, it's how Chris dug it. Oh, okay. It's all my fault. Y'all believe that, That's right? That's the man in charge right there, so. Yeah. Ultimately, uh, it's Quincy's it, fault. It yeah, ultimately, it's the guy that laid it out. I'll tell yeah. you. Oh, that's I Aaron. Dug the I drinking. heard that you didn't oh. find the flaw in the uh, squareness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it? That was Aaron. It's about five inches is what it was. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's the little things that add up to big yeah. things. Yeah, but, and the last guy, the last guy on, we get to blame for everything, so anything wrong is Marshall's fault anyway. Oh, yeah. That way, you'll be mine and I won't be back, right? Wouldn't have it any other way. Exactly. Or my go-to is James. James. All right. So I'm down here in the hole. This is where Chris was pouring the gravel. And we're going to have a return that runs out the back this way. And then we're going to have a return on the fifth step that runs out. So. What's up? we got to get up under there. Yeah, it'll come out from the top of the wall. Oh, oh, yeah. So I'll be... Uh, taking the shovel and do a little bit of shovel work to get through here, but you know, then I'll have to 
put the level on it and match up there, drill a hole out the back, and then go out. So that's going to be the most difficult. Would have been nice to get it done before the gravel, but you know. Anyway, let me get it going.